Okay, so a little while ago I'd done this video which showed you how to get rid of the Edge search bar. Unfortunately for some it didn't work. After a few reboots the Edge bar came back. So this guide is going to go a little bit further and tell you another way of getting rid of the Edge bar. So first of all I would say try what I said in the previous video. So what we do is we click on the three dots just over here and then take the tick out of auto launch search bar. So just click on it and then click on the three dots again and there you go, there's no tick there. That should mean that it shouldn't reappear. But some of you have said after a few reboots, it has come back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna edit the registry and try and make it not come back permanently. If you're watching this video as a short, tap on the thumbnail in the bottom right hand corner right now to see the full video. If you're already watching the full video, hold tight, more details coming up shortly. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things help us make more great videos for you. So as I say, this video is going to show you a couple of ways on how to stop the Edge search bar from appearing on your desktop. Now we've already gone through one way and that was clicking on the three dots and taking the tick out of auto launch search bar just by clicking on it and then click on the three dots again and just make sure the tick has gone. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the registry. Now I should say this can be dangerous. So please make sure you follow my instructions precisely and please make sure you've got a backup copy of anything important on your computer because sometimes meddling with the registry can cause the system not to boot. A good thing to do here before meddling with the registry is to create a restore point. So just click on the start button and then just type on your keyboard, create a restore and then hopefully you should see under best match create a restore point click on that and if like mine system restore protection says it's off click on configure click on turn on system protection the little circle beside it and just move this slider bar up just one just to one percent and then click on apply and then click on okay and then click on create okay and just give it a name so prior to search fix let's call it that I just sorry spelt that wrong prior to search fix click on create now this bit might take a bit of time just uh, be patient with it I'm going to pause this video and we're going to come back to it as soon as the restore point has been created okay so once you see the message the restore point was created successfully we can click on close and then click on OK. Now this means that if we encounter any problems after changing this part in the registry or adding this part to the registry, then we can restore the system back to prior to making the change and hopefully that'll fix anything. But so far, I've not heard any reports of anybody having any problems with this, but belt and braces, make sure you've got a backup copy of anything important and make sure that you've got that restore point just in case the worst should happen. So then once you've done that, click on the start button and then just type on your keyboard reg edit and you should see after a while under best match registry editor should appear move your mouse over that click on the right mouse button that's the button on the right hand side of the mouse not the left and you'll get this menu come up and then click on run as administrator the screen will darken and it will say do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device we'll make sure that it says registry editor just there and make sure that the verified publisher is microsoft windows if these match click on yes so the next thing we want to do is we want to click on H key local machine or the little arrow beside H key local machine. And then we want to click on the little arrow beside software. And then we want to click on the little arrow beside policies. And then we want to click on the little arrow beside Microsoft. And we want to look to see whether we've got Edge in there, a yellow folder called Edge. If like mine, we haven't got that, then what we need to do is we need to right click on Microsoft, then move our mouse over new, and then move our mouse over key and left click once. And what we wanna do now is just type on our keyboard the word edge. If you've already got an edge folder, then hold tight, I'll go through what you need to do in a moment. Press the enter key on your keyboard and then just click once on edge just on the left mouse button and then move your mouse over to the right hand bar here just move your mouse just below the word default and right click again go across to new 
and then go across to D Word 32 bit value. Make sure that's highlighted. Click on the left mouse button and then we want to type in here web with a capital W widget with a capital W allowed with a capital A, no spaces. So web widget allowed with a capital W for web, capital W for widget and a capital A for allowed. Everything else is in lowercase and as I say, no spaces, just like it's shown on screen. Then press enter or return on the keyboard, double left click on it and just make sure that the value data is zero and then click on OK. If you've already got Edge underneath Microsoft, then left click once on it and then try to find in the right hand column Web Widget Allowed. Once you've found it, double left click on it and just make sure that the value data in it says zero. Mine says one, so let's type in zero, press OK. Now, if you can't find Web Widget Allowed under Edge, then what you need to do is you need to just move your mouse anywhere in a blank spot here, click on the right mouse button, go to New, Go down to D Word 32 bit value, left click once, and then just type in here with a capital W web, and then again with a capital W widget, and then with a capital A allowed, just like it's shown on the screen. So web widget allowed with a capital W for web, with a capital W for widget and a capital A for allowed. No spaces in between. Then press enter or return on your keyboard, double left click on web widget allowed and just make sure again, the value data is zero, then click on okay. Now we need to shut down this now, just before you shut it down, just double check, triple check that you've done this correctly. So you've got a folder there called Edge under Microsoft and you've got web widget allowed with capital W's and a capital A. And then make sure that the value data shows all the zeros just there. So I'm just going to click on the cross just here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on here, the start button, click on the power icon and then click on restart. I'm going to let the computer restart and let's just see whether or not the bar still appears. And there we are, the computer's restarted and no Edge search bar. And if you want to get the Edge search bar back, all you do is again, click on the start button, type on your keyboard Reg Edit, and then wait for Registry Editor to appear under Best Match. Move your mouse over it, click the right mouse button. That's the button on the right hand side of the mouse, not the left. You'll get this menu come up. Click on Run as Administrator. That's a left click. Make sure that it says here Registry Editor and make sure the Verify Publisher is Microsoft Windows. Click Yes. And then click on H key Local Machine or the arrow beside it. Click on the arrow beside Software. Go down to Policies. Click on the arrow to the left of Policies. Click on the arrow to the left of Microsoft. Microsoft and then double click on Edge and then left click once on Edge and then find your web widget allowed, double click on that and change the value data from zero to one, then click on OK, close this down and then click on the start button, click on power and then click on restart. It must be restart. Let your computer restart and see if the web widget bar comes back. And there we go, I've restarted the computer and the web search bar is back. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please help support this channel. If you're looking for a VPN, a Fire Stick or Fire Stick accessories, have a look in the description down below. We've got loads of great links for you with great deals. Buying and subscribing through these links really does help support this channel. It helps me to dedicate more time to researching and bringing you these videos. And don't forget, why whilst you're at my YouTube channel, why not stick around? I've got thousands of other videos right here, right now, waiting for you. Hopefully whilst you're here, you're gonna find something to educate you, entertain you, amuse you, and maybe even save you some time and money.